DNC shuts down censure of Maxine Waters over Chauvin jury pressuring. This is our topic report, and this is our top story in terms of traffic so far today, and that's why we're, we're leading off with this story. And the, the, the subject here is Maxine Waters' litmus test tracker. And the top link that I chose for this report is Democrats nuke censure of Maxine Waters for incitement of violence. This is from The Federalist, a, a, a right-wing website. From Christian Justice, the excerpt, House Democrats nuked a resolution to censure California Representative Maxine Waters Tuesday after the Los Angeles area congresswoman called for escalation confrontation if the jury in the trial of former police officer Derek Chauvin refuses a guilty verdict. We are looking for a guilty verdict, Water, Water said over the weekend. And this is this is the kind of uh, other fallout and feedback that we're getting across the newsoblogosphere. MSNBC's Joy Reid goes to war for Maxine Waters, decries critics as racist. Congresswoman Maxine Waters found herself on Tuesday in need of doubling down on her belief that legal intimidation and tampering I don't know if I could call this tampering. That's a bit of a stretch. Uh, I don't even know if it's legal intimidation. If that qualifies or not, I'm not an expert in law, but I don't think that tam I think tampering is a bit bit uh, probably not exactly what it was. Uh, but <coughs> intimidation at the very least, whether it was legal or not, uh, was the way of achieving her preferred outcome. So NBC's Joy Reid was happy to both give her that forum and decry that those who disagreed with Waters' comments are basically racist. Let me see if you're... If I'm you're so gonna... sorry uh, that it causes pain oftentimes with my colleagues. Many times they're in these districts mm -hmm. where they're frightened, where they have a lot of racism, where they still haven't moved to the point where they can have a decent conversation about these issues. These districts that are led by, controlled by Democrats. Remember, all of these black communities. And I'm not, I'm not down, downplaying the claims of racism by, by these uh, folks that live in these black communities. I'm, uh, that's not my point at all. What, what I am pointing out is that these are all communities that are controlled by Democrats. Not even no Republican could ever get elected in these. So remember that the Democrats have controlled the police, the. <coughs> operations, the legal structures, everything in these communities for decades. And black communities are still saying we're still dealing with uh, pretty hardcore racism. And sometimes it's very difficult for them, but they stood up with me today. They put me yeah. up the center uh, because of my visit to Minneapolis. And my colleagues stood with me and they, uh, they voted to table uh, the motion that was put up to censor me because the tar the Republicans love to use me as a target. They raise money on my... Well, well, yeah, but you literally target them. You literally call on people to show up in restaurants and thug on them. You literally call for that. So, yeah, they're, they're right in pointing you out. They're right in targeting you. You target them. My backs. Don't That's like the target, don't Maxine bring the target. Waters, that black woman who is so uppity. I don't want to and poor people, to her, many of so them are get to moving the through reading. the Congress um, that could actually take the, the, the you know, the, the victory that for the family of George Floyd today and sort of put some laws on the books that could actually help to prevent the next George Floyd from dying in the way that he did. Can you talk a little bit about something that now has more momentum? because of this verdict um because it, it does uh, if they tried you but he did try you today and you made the point that uh he and his colleagues on the I'm republican sure side love is. to talk about Why police when they want to use them for their own political purposes yes that's the nature of uh, factionalism factions talk about what fits into their narrative see the dnc no, the republicans do this too but but the DNC is always talking as if they're they're the they're they're the moral high ground. They don't use politics as a weapon. They don't use issues in political divisive ways to basically just empower their particular side. They don't do that. But then I'm I'm, I'm it's probably pointless to point that out. Okay, they're not going to show the Joy Reid comment, so we're moving on. Chauvin defense tries for mistrial when Maxine Waters shares opinion. Turns out Biden has one too. 
And this is from the Daily Coast. So I just wanted to point this out that uh, the difference between Biden having a comment is that Biden didn't show up at the protest amongst the protesters and he didn't say anything near what she said. He didn't he didn't call for them to to up their aggression, to up their confrontation. Maxine Waters was speaking in a city which even as she was speaking was being burned to the ground in part, not entirely. I want to be you know over the top here. But uh, a city that was bur- being burnt to the ground in, 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 in part uh, in, in businesses, innocent business owners losing their businesses. And in that context, within that climate, she says, uh, uh, up your confrontation. Uh, yeah, not not a good not a good comp- comparison there, Daily Coast. And Daily Coast is one of the worst offenders. As bad as they are, they're not as bad as Politics USA. That's maybe one of the worst, maybe the worst. PSS <laughs> Yamiche Alcindor presses White House to defend Maxine Waters' calls for confrontations. This is from Fox News. This is the, the token opposition uh, network. Liberal PBS correspondent Yamiche Alcindor pondered why the Biden administration isn't rushing to the defense of Maxine Waters after she called for people to... Well, they actually did. They, they did. They rushed to the defense, so this is not true. After she called for people to get confrontational, Derek Derek Chauvin isn't convicted of killing George Floyd. Mm -hmm. But but, but she actually did. And then uh, a few more headlines here. Media jumps in to defend Maxine Waters from Red State. Representative Waters says her words don't matter. In Chauvin case from New York Post, Maxine Waters twists herself into a pretzel over judges' criticism of her confrontational remarks from Red State. And finally, Maxine Waters' bold words echo civil rights. Draw criticism from SpectrumLocalNews.com. 